So I have an iPhone 10s Max here with no touch. And usually when uh, customers tell me that they have a no touch problem on one of the X X 10s 10s Max, I just say no to it and I just do data recovery only because most of the times it's the logic board that's um, it's the traces the pads off of the either the middle layer or the bottom logic board that's broken off uh, due to bending. Um, so I normally so and and those are not those cannot be reliably repaired in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe others have done it, but I think it would just take way too much time to do anyways. So I just don't even take them on. But this customer is uh it's a it's a store that sends me a bunch of stuff and um and he said that it happened after a screen repair. So I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. And I was just thinking that, okay, maybe this this uh, this uh store just got unlucky or something like that. But uh, I'm going to show you what uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so on the 10s Max, let's see, you have like a separate board for the touch which is on the bottom end of the logic board and then you know this is the main logic board and then there's another board here that's kind of like towards the end of it and it's going to be on this side okay so this is the digitizer connector right here and what I did was I just diode moded the connector see if I can find anything and I'll show you what I found so this pin right here is shorted alright and if you look at ZXW tools, you'll see that this pin right here actually goes down to uh, this, these two capacitors and a filter here. And the filter is a 5.25 volt touch uh, power line. Interesting, right? Um, just looking at the connector directly, you don't, I don't, can't really see anything weird about it except this thing right here is a little bit popped up so after kind of pulling this up a little bit you can see that this capacitor right here is kind of busted so my guess is maybe they maybe they stuck their tweezers up here to, to pry it off and it shorted because this is ground right here and but it looks like this capacitor is busted which is causing it to be short which is also causing the, the touch to not work on this thing so I'm just going to pop this off. You know what? I'm actually going to use some heat because I may end up replacing it. But I'm pretty sure this is short right here. And I'm pretty sure that we're actually going to be able to fix this stupid thing. Yep. 0.675. And if we test this most likely it's shorted. Yes, it is shorted. So, I guess we can call this pry damage. <laughs> no touch pry damage repair. So, let's see. Do we even have a value for this thing? No, we do not. So, maybe, I think what I'll do is I'll just grab it from, a, from one of these donor boards that I have. It's probably not really needed, but better to, always better to put it back if you, uh, if you can. And that is what we will do. Okay. So let's just get rid of this sucker real quick. And then let's take my donor board. And we'll grab it off of that. Well, I didn't even realize that this, uh, I didn't even realize that this has a, a power line now. I mean, I know, I think on the older versions of iPhones, there was a, what was it, like a, I guess there's like PN5E7 Sage. 
uh, and I think there's a 5.1 touch line as well. But anyway, this is a 5.2 5 volt touch line. Anyways. No. <laughs> Dang it. I think I just lost. See, while putting this back, I lost this one. There it is. Dang it. And after all these years, I still have problems with these. <laughs> All right, I think that should be fine. So we'll just leave it like that. That's pretty tight. Okay, so let's just clean this up a little bit, and then we'll call it a day. I think maybe I'll put some green stuff on it, just to let them know that to not uh, pry around there. How about that? Oh, okay, so I guess this is a relatively easy fix here. But we won't tell the customer that, right? All right, I think that's good enough. All right, so let's just try it again and let's see how it goes. Pretty sure it's gonna work now. This might be the dirtiest desk ever. Might be the boringest video ever. What do you guys think about that? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a passcode on it, and I don't have the passcode, so. Alright, that's fine. Touch works, so we'll just uh, call it a day on this. Thanks for watching. I just want to say thank you for watching our videos on YouTube. Um, you know, when I started micro soldering about 
three or four years ago, maybe about three years ago, um, I started because I ended up breaking someone's phone during a repair. Yeah, this was back in the days of the iPhone 5C, and as I was disconnecting the battery, I accidentally pried off one of the little components next to the battery connector. So my options were to try to try to fix it or to buy buy the customer a new phone, and and that's kind of what started this journey. Well, fast forward three years later. Um, we have a website now, microsoldering.com, and we also have an online training course. Um, it's $99.99 if you buy it through our website, and we go over just about everything that you need to know to get started on your microsoldering journey. Um, it's uh, kind of sectioned out into about four parts, and uh, the first part we just kind of go over all the basics and tools, how to use diode mode. Um, and what kind of tools and equipment to buy and stuff like that. The second part, we talk a little bit about ZXW tools. And in the third part, we go over four of the most common repairs. Let's update this. It should be four common most repairs. So it's basically no touch, no backlight, no power. And we just added a section for audio IC on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And then the last part is data recovery, no boot. And just kind of a very basic um, uh, discussion about data recovery. So if you want to buy it, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, shop, and then you'll come to this um, this uh, page right here. Just click on buy at Udemy, and that'll take you to Udemy where our course is hosted. Um, and you can even preview some videos of the course and see if you like it or not and right now it's we're at four and a half hours and we're adding to it um, as much as we can so uh, just make sure you go through our website otherwise the cost is a little bit higher alright thanks for watching